Hi everyone, this is Lindsay from Mainly Quartz Crystals and More. And I just wanted to do a quick video and show you and tell you about my crystal pillows. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Um, I wanted to show you what they're made out of, what they hold, the different sizes I do, etc. Um, so I have a couple pillows on hand here. This is my typical size that I make. This is about four and a quarter by four and a quarter. This is the medium size pillow. And this is one I happen to have on hand that's larger. It's not the largest one that I do. This is about an inch smaller than my largest one that I offer, which I, is an eight by eight. So I wanted to show you, um, pick it up and let you see that, you know, it's very flexible. Um, what I use in these is flaxseed. Now, some people might not know about flaxseed. Um, it's a grain. I use organic flaxseed. It's very tiny. Very smooth. It works. This is what I found that works the best in the pillows. I've tried rice. I've tried beans. I've tried different things like that, but I prefer using the flaxseed, but I can do one in whatever you'd like, if you'd prefer something else. Um, and I fill them with natural lavender. I like to make them as the orders come in because I think they're nicer that way, better than ones that just sit around, they're nice and crisp, fresh, they smell fresh. Um, I usually use lavender smells nice it's not it's not overbearing um, I can put sage I can put rose petals rose buds whatever you'd like in it um, the reason I started making crystal pillows is because when I was starting to get into crystals I'd go to crystal stores I live in a rural area so there's not many stores around so I'd have to travel long distances and most of the time I couldn't find a crystal pillow and if I was able to find a crystal pillow the price was so outrageous I said well I'm not gonna pay that much I'll just make them myself so then when I realized it was gonna be harder for me to get a crystal pillow I looked online and I really couldn't find any that were what I was looking for exactly um, so I'm making my own I've had some wonderful customer feedback on my Etsy shop. If you go to my Etsy shop, um, you can see what people have um, said about my crystal pillows. Okay, so this is the big one. I have many fabrics available. If you see a pillow you like, and I only have it listed in a small size, if you send me a message, most of the time I have enough fabric that I can make it in whatever size you want. I also do custom sizes. If you don't like my small, medium, and large size, or you're looking for a different shape, I can do that as well. Um, to give you an idea of the large size, this is a big black tourmaline. And we mined this ourselves, And it's very heavy. But that's about the size of the large pillow. What I like about the large pillow is this will fit larger crystals, crystals that may not have a flat bottom, like this crystal. This is not flat, it wants to sit like that. But with the crystal pillow and these nice flax seeds that are able to move around inside the pillow, you can just make like an indent right there. Put the crystal in. and it will sit flat and it will go straight up so you could use it for a crystal grid or whatever you'd like I get a lot of customers who tell me they do use the pillows to put grids on um, so I mean you can use it for whatever you'd like bigger crystals I've had big larger crystals that were like two pounds and they worked in this if you know you're going to um, use one of my pillows for a larger crystal 
if I put less filling in it, it will sit deeper in there and work better. So if you know you're going to use one of my larger pillows for a larger crystal that does not have a flat bottom, just send me a message. I'll put a little less seed, flax seed in it so that it will sit deeper and stand straighter. Um, so this is my medium sized pillow. Um, I don't have this fabric listed in my Etsy shop, but I do have some more if anyone's interested in it. This is my personal pillow that I use for my crystal display. This size works great for spheres. This is my Mardi Gras fluorite sphere. That works great for that. Um, you can use my medium size for, actually this is the pillow I use for my crystal that is this size with the uneven bottom. And it works, it still stands up on my medium size ones. Something big like the black tourmaline, it would sit on that. Um, I wouldn't use my medium size for a large, tall, standing crystal because it might be wobbly, you know, and fall off. But if you just move it around, even that, see, I can get that to stand up on that medium size one. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with my hand holding the camera because I cannot find my tripod anywhere. But as soon as I do find my tripod, I'll be using that. And this is my Dia de los Muertos crystal pillow. I don't have this fabric listed in my shop either, but if it's something you're interested in, um, just send me a message because I have many fabrics that I don't have listed in my Etsy shop. I've also done pillows for people who had fabric already. Um, that they had picked out, that they had liked, had it on hand. They've sent me the fabric. I've made the pillows out of their own fabric. Um, so if you have a fabric or you've seen one online and you'd like a pillow out of it, uh, if you purchase it and then send it to me, I'd be more than happy to make you a pillow of the fabric of your choice. I don't charge anything extra. The price of the pillow is the same. These pillows right now are $7.50. So you could send me your own fabric, but the pillow would still be $7.50. Um, so this is the small size. This is my typical size. This is the one I sell the most of. And this works great for spheres. That's my largest size fluorite sphere. And then I have calcite. It's a little bit smaller. It still looks good on that size. I have a small one. It fits on there. Might work better for, you know, look nicer with a larger one, but with a smaller one, you can see the print around it. I can use this for this crystal. Um, this crystal is probably like six, six inches tall. I wouldn't use one, use this pillow for a crystal that is larger because I don't think... I don't know if it will stand, and if it did stand, it might be tipsy. If you bumped into a table, it might knock it off. So for larger crystals, I would suggest um, a medium-sized pillow to large-sized pillow. Lots of people use these for grids, too. I've made grids on these smaller ones, um, and they look really nice, and they keep everything, you know, all together. I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions at all about my crystal pillows, please feel free to send me a message. Or if you have any suggestions of something I might try. Like I said, I do different sizes. I just don't have them all listed in my Etsy shop. If there's a certain size you're looking for, I can make it for you. Just, you know, I can make a, a listing just for that for you. I can do smaller ones in this. This is my small one. This is, like I said, four and a quarter by four and a quarter about. I could make a 2x2, two two, a 3x3, three three, a 3x2, three you know, whatever you'd like. These also work really great, i found, and a lot of my customers use these for, to display the jewelry that they make, especially on the larger ones. Um, they lay their jewelry on it. Like, say they made a necklace, they lay that on it, take a picture, it comes out really nice, gives it a nice background. So people are finding lots of uses for these. Um, 
but that's it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to, you know, send me a message and ask, or if there's something you're looking for and I don't have it listed in my shop. I do sell crystals and minerals that we mine ourselves. Um, like I have this black tourmaline. It's the only one I have. They're very rare around here. If I sold it, it would be more expensive. But I have lots of rose quartz. I think my prices are what is the typical price for rose quartz. I have many different sizes. I have tumble size to a 70 pound rose quartz. So I have lots of them available. They're natural. I don't have any polished. I don't have any that are tumbled. Um, I don't have any listed in my store right now, but I do have them. So if you're interested in them, um, please feel free you know, to send me a message about that. I have them available. I can ship them out to you. Um, so that's it. So I don't want to keep this going too long, but I wanted to tell you about my crystal pillows because I haven't done this before. Um, I hope this helped you understand about my crystal pillows. Have a great day. Bye-bye. God bless.